form these liver like structures. Um, and then there's an example of some cardiac immune cells. We've got your cancer cells, your cancer stem cells, so it's more than seven or eight different cells. Yes. And then this is an example of the DNA of one of our people. Mm -hmm. So if we've got all the different Look, leadership is tough in any walk of life. It's particularly tough, I think, in this day and age in, in politics. So if you are putting yourself forward as leader, you need to not just expect and accept, but embrace really rigorous scrutiny because that is part and parcel of, of testing yourself and allowing others to test you. I've got enormous confidence uh, that the SNP will choose someone of ability. All three of the candidates in the race so far, and there's a few days to go until nominations close, uh, are people that I've appointed to government, uh, either currently or in the past. Two of them are in my cabinet right now. So clearly there is a, a spectrum of talent on display there. And it's now for SNP members and the country to look at each of them, to examine and scrutinise their policies, uh, their uh, suggestions, their outlook, and come to a decision. But I've got huge confidence that whoever emerges as my successor, whoever he or she may be, uh, then they're going to lead Scotland successfully to even bigger and better things ahead.